I am with my mom right now. We just left Target and we got green tea frappuccinos. She had a sip of mine the last time and what do you think? It's good. It's really. good. The last time she thought it looked gross because it was green and then she tried a sip and now she really likes it. So we had a coupon for buy one get one free so we got the giant ones and now we are just getting ready to go to Hobby Lobby and look at some of their fall stuff. I need to pick up a few fall things for some fall DIYs because I'm going to start filming those soon because it is going to be fall before we know it. It's actually been feeling like fall here a lot lately. Okay, check it out. We spotted a giant cord on the cob. Always. You like that? Yeah. We have made our way into the fall stuff and they have their Christmas trees up here already. It's crazy. I love looking at all of the fall stuff. I pretty much love everything fall. Look how pretty these pumpkins are. Oh, if I can get it without it falling. Here are the Christmas trees. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Okay, my mom just found this really cool turkey. Check that out. But it's what, $50? Mm -hmm. But it is on sale for 40% off. I wish it was cheaper and I would buy it. It's really cute. Okay, and we're still in the land of Christmas trees looking at a turkey. Okay, now I spotted a giant candy cane. I don't even know why I'm looking at Christmas stuff, but I am. It's probably not gonna go. Let's see if I can. Ooh, I got it. Good job. They also have giant candies on the stick. They have cupcake ornaments. Okay, we got distracted from looking at the fall stuff and now we're looking at a bunch of Christmas stuff. I have no idea why. Can't help but look at it because it's all shiny and pretty. Hi guys, we are now at Joanne Fabrics and I wanted to show you they have Halloween stuff out. I think this is the first store that I've seen Halloween stuff. They also have a ghost, but I think I like the witch the best. And these are 30% off. Oh, they're only $10. So it'd be seven. Yeah. I might get one of those. I'm not sure. I have to think where I might put one. They have all of their fall decor out and they have so many nice things. Of course, lots of owls. With the feet. With the feet. Like it doesn't have feet. With the big feet. I want to buy all of this fall stuff. I love decorating for fall. I think fall, Halloween, and Christmas are my favorite times to decorate. More owls. Ooh, these big ravens are cool. Look. We have the little ones that we buy every year at the Dollar Tree. I like these big ones though. This is Aww. 10. I like him. Oh he is adorable. So this is $10. So it'd be $6.99. This is 15. I think this is supposed to be a hedgehog. I want to buy all of this stuff. This is where I got my leaf garlands last year. I had this one right here. I like the ones they have here because they're really realistic and thick. We were just looking at some of these at Hobby Lobby and it seemed like they were a little thinner. Hi guys, so we just got back from shopping a few hours ago and right now I am just sitting here relaxing and I am watching Full House. They are playing a marathon on Nick at Night and it has been forever since I watched this show so I thought I would just sit down and relax and watch a few episodes. Sitting here in my comfy clothes, it feels really cold out tonight. I think it's down to 56 degrees and that is Fahrenheit. I know a lot of people are getting confused when I say that it's cool and they say that it's warm but we are in Fahrenheit in the United States. I feel super tired. I feel like we literally shopped until we dropped today. We went to quite a few stores because I needed to pick up some craft stuff for some fall DIY videos that I'm getting ready to start filming. I am so excited to put up fall videos. And I'm gonna try to get some of them up kind of early just because fall kind of sneaks up and gets here before we know it. And I want you guys to have time to be able to do some of the DIYs before fall gets here so you can actually use the stuff for fall. I also came home today to find a package from LTD on my doorstep. I ordered some stuff from them last week, so I was really excited to get it. I picked up a few Halloween-y things, so I thought I would quickly show you. So first of all, I got this really cool Halloween canvas. I think I saw both of these things that I got in last year's catalog, and I don't know why, but I didn't order them, and this year they were on clearance. So this was, I think, $7.50, and the pumpkins light up. Hopefully you're going to be able to tell. 
So that's what it looks like. I think this is really cool. And I don't have any Halloween-y canvases. I really didn't need any more Halloween decorations if I'm going to be honest. Uh -oh. And then I also picked up a set of these three bats. These are so cool. Again, I saw these last year in the catalog and was going to order them, but I didn't. And this year they were on clearance, so it actually ended up working out better. And these have a little suction cup and then a battery operated light. So you can put them on your window or a mirror pretty much anywhere. You turn it on and that is how it looks. I think these look so cool. It's not cool. And it's all, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's all shimmery. Looks like sparkly on the bat. I cannot wait to put these up. I am so excited for Halloween. I don't know if it's just because my birthday is in October, but I have always just been a huge fan of Halloween. I love decorating for Halloween. I love anything to do with Halloween, fall and Halloween actually. So I think these were $7.50 or $8 and you get three of them. And then I also got one more thing that's kind of big. I didn't bring it out here. It's actually in my office. I'll take you guys in there and show you in just a second. Whoa, trying to, and these come apart too, so the light just pulls right out of here. I got one more thing. I actually ordered one for me and one for my mom because she had seen it in the catalog. So I got one for her too. I don't know if you guys can hear right now, but Muffin is over there sleeping in her bed and she's um, like making little barking noises. It's so funny when they're running in their sleep or they're growling. My dogs do that all the time and it's the cutest thing. And she's laying there all snuggled up with her little teddy bear. She has this little teddy bear, I swear it's her favorite toy. She brings it around all the time with her. So we also went to Hobby Lobby today and I found this really cool picture. I actually found a few pictures, but I have this one sitting here. And it says, do what you love. I love that Hobby Lobby is getting in a ton of this gold stuff because lately I've been really into gold. I'm actually thinking of doing another home decor haul video soon, but a lot of the stuff that I have, I've already put around my house or hung up on the wall. So if I do film another home decor haul, I'm just gonna kind of walk around the house and show you where I have everything. If that's okay with you guys, I actually kind of like the videos like that because then you can kind of see how people decorate with the stuff that they buy, kind of like a little tour of the stuff and where they put it. Okay, now I am going to take you guys in my office and show you the other thing that I got from LTD. There's Muffin down there sleeping. You probably can't see, but she has her little bear. It's kind of sticking out from underneath her head. And look how pretty these headphones are. My mom found these when she was out shopping and she thought that I would like them so she picked them up for me. They are so pretty. I love the colors. I love anything colorful. There's her ratty old bear. He doesn't even have a nose anymore. I think she ripped it off. Are you tired? Her and Molly played outside for a long time today so I think they're both exhausted. She's so tired. I think Molly's in the bedroom sleeping. Okay, moving along into my office, here is the other thing that I picked up from LTD. It is a little ghost trick-or-treater, and I think these were 15. They also had a pumpkin one, but I really liked the ghost, and so did my mom, like I said, so I went ahead and ordered one for her, so she was really happy. And then he has his, it's kind of turned weird. You can kind of position his arms and stuff so they turn a little bit. He has his trick or treat bag. So that is everything that I ordered from LTD, just a bunch of Halloween stuff. I also thought I would show you guys all of the craft stuff that I picked up. Like I said, I am definitely going to be doing some fall DIY videos soon. I cannot wait. So I picked up some glitter. They have the Martha Stewart glitters on sale right now at uh, Joanne Fabrics, and that is not focused. So I picked up this really pretty purple, and then I also picked up a gold. And then I just picked up some of these craft paints. I think all of these are from Walmart. The only one that I got from Joann's is the purple. I bought a couple packages of fake leaves and my phone is ringing. Okay, I'll be right back. 
Okay guys, I am back. I had to change out of that sweatshirt. For some reason, I started getting really warm. I don't know if it's because I'm walking around filming or what, so I decided to put on this new shirt that I picked up from Target. It says MTV. I love this color and I also love that it has a little bit of tie-dye on it. But anyways, I will get back to showing you guys the rest of the craft stuff that I picked up. Some of these fake leaves because right now there isn't any real fall leaves out. These are from Joanne Fabrics and these were $2 but I think they were on sale for $1.50 so I got two packages of those. I bought some of these craft paint brushes. These are from Walmart. I think these were $3. And then I got some of this really cool fake moss from Marshalls. And then the last thing that I picked up were some of these stickers. These are from Dollar Tree and you get 370 stickers for only one dollar. What a bargain, right? So that was everything that I picked up. Like I said, I am definitely going to be filming some fall DIY videos soon. I am really, really excited for fall. And also for Christmas, some of you have been asking if I'm going to be filming a lot of Christmas videos again this year, and I am definitely going to film as many Christmas videos as I can. Okay guys, before I get going quickly, Pete also wanted to stop by and say hi. Say hi, Pete. to Bath and Body Works. I just realized I had two sets of these coupons that are going to expire on August 3rd and today is August 1st so I figured we better go use them. They are for um, free travel size item of your choice. Five dollar value, no purchase necessary. So we're gonna stop in there and plus I think they have all of their fall candles and their fall soaps out. I might pick up some fall soaps because I am running low on soap and then there's also a coupon for 20% off your entire purchase. These little popsicle coupons are so cute. Is that another cop? No. And I think they got rid of their survey coupons. I had an old receipt in my purse and I went to do one of the 10 off 30 survey coupons and it said that it didn't exist anymore, which I had no idea. I haven't been to Bath and Body Works in probably a month at least, so I don't know if they just got rid of them or what. I kind of hope that they didn't though because normally when you buy candles you can get such a good deal when you get $10 off 30. I'm probably really gonna wanna buy candles, fall candles too, but I don't think they're on sale and there's no way I'm spending, what is it, like 22 or $24 for a candle. I would not do that. But when we get there, I will show you guys and uh, you can see all of the fall stuff. I'm hoping they have a lot of stuff out. Okay, so right now I'm kind of disappointed because they really don't have any fall stuff. They only have a few things for this one week sneak peek. They do have this really cool three layer candle. But like I said, the candles are not on sale right now, so I think I'm just going to wait. And they have no fall soaps. So we're going to look for our travel size items and then I think we're going to get out of here really quick. Okay, we did decide to stop at Michael's and they have their fall and Halloween stuff out, so that's pretty cool. So even though I was disappointed about Bath and Body Works, at least they have some cool stuff to look at here. This guy's cute. I love looking at all of the fall and Halloween stuff. I'm sure you guys know that by now. They have Halloween nutcrackers. This reminds me of Hocus Pocus, the little book on there. The eye book. Now I want to go home and watch Hocus Pocus. Do you want to watch it later? Yeah. Sounds good. Bill likes that movie too. He really likes Halloween just like I, like I do. Bette Midler too. Yep, we both love Bette Midler. Remember that episode when she was on Seinfeld? Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. And who took her out, George? Yeah, so. Oh, look at these pumpkin baskets. This looks like something my mom would like. They have hot dog costumes for dogs. I wish I could find one of those to fit Molly, but they never have them big enough. They need to have more large size dog costumes. Some more skull stuff. Lots of skull stuff. You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. You are, you are.
are getting ready to start doing some painting in the guy room. Bill is starting to have a little bit of second thoughts on the dark brown, but what we decided is we're just gonna go ahead and paint this wall, this one, and then the one by the mirrors and kind of see how it looks. I don't think it's gonna be too dark in here because there are a ton of windows, so I don't really think that's gonna be too much of an issue, but we just decided if we get it up on the wall and we don't like it, we're just gonna go ahead and repaint instead of live with it because I've done that in the past, painted a color, and then every time I looked at it, I just hated it. So, like I said, there's so many windows in here, it shouldn't really be too bad. I'll show you the rollers that we're going to use. These are the rollers right here. The girl said that these were pretty good rollers. Some of them put fuzz all over the place, and I really don't want that to happen. I've painted with rollers like that before, and then your walls end up looking like crap. So these are the rollers that we picked up. And she also said that if you get the rollers a little bit damp, that should help too. So hopefully that is going to work out. This is the paint that we're going to be using. We picked up the Bare Premium Plus Ultra. This is the stain blocking paint and primer in one. And then the color is Dark Truffle. So after we get some paint up on the wall, I will come back and show you what it looks like. Are you excited to start painting, babe? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's sarcastic. I think I told you we really don't like painting. We like the end result, we just don't like doing the work. So, Bill usually takes the, what's that thing called, an edger? Mm -hmm. Show that. Bill usually takes the edger and uh, he goes along the ceiling and around any trim and then I do all the rolling work. I'm the rolling girl. Anyways, I'm going to go so we can get to work, but I will show you what it looks like when we're done. The moment of truth. Oh, that's what it looks like. So here it is. It's pretty chocolatey. Yeah, it is. I feel so tired from doing all of that painting. I think it took us, what, probably about two hours? Yep, it's about. Which wasn't too bad. Um, I think I told you guys we were maybe just going to paint a couple of the walls and then see how it looked, but we decided that we liked it. So we just went ahead and painted the whole thing, and hopefully we'll wake up tomorrow and look and absolutely love it. It was kind of hard to see when we were getting done. It started getting a little bit dark, but hoping we're going to love it, right? Yep. And if we don't, we just decided that we will go buy new paint and repaint it. Because we've done it before, haven't we? Yep, we sure have. So now we're just kind of relaxing and we are going to watch a movie. We have a couple here picked out. We went to Michael's earlier today. We were looking at fall and Halloween stuff. So we kind of got in the folly Halloween mood. So we decided we wanted to watch the movie Hocus Pocus with Bette Midler. Did you guys ever see the episode where she was in Seinfeld and um, George took her out when they were playing softball? It was so funny. There's Molly. Can hardly see her. And then after that, she wants to sniff the DVD. We're thinking about watching Tower Heist. This movie is really good. It has Ben Stiller, Eddie Murphy, and Matthew Broderick. What kind of movie would you describe this as? It's pretty funny too. It's a comedy. It's really good and it's really funny. It has a lot of good people in it. I'm trying to like hold this up so you can see everybody else, but it's just glaring. It's glaring. So we're just going to relax and watch a couple movies. We're pretty tired. We are watching Hocus Pocus right now. I love this movie so much. I never get tired of watching this. I love this part. Okay, here it comes. I think it's so funny that she rides on the vacuum cleaner. Did you see that? Muffin and Molly are always in the kitchen whenever I am cooking something. They always think that they're going to get something. I don't know why, but they do. Look at her. She's like, give me some. 
Today I am cooking us chili for dinner. It's another cooler feeling fallish day, so I decided to make chili. It's been sounding really good lately, so I just decided to make that. I found this really cute mason jar cup at Meijer the other day, and it was on sale for only, I think, $4, so I decided to get one. Not that I need any more cups, but I thought it was cute. And right now I am just drinking some ice water. I've been trying to drink more water because I drink a lot of Coke and I'm trying to cut back. So I'm just making chili right now and the puppies are here. We did get done painting Bill's room. I should take you back there and show you. I don't think I even showed since we finished. Okay, so here it is. We have everything in the middle of the room. Bill is touching up a couple spots on the ceiling. How's it going? Good. We did really good when we were painting. I actually wore a white shirt and I didn't get anything on it, did I? Nope. I did really good. The only little boo-boo I had is over there. You probably can't see on the ceiling. I got a tiny bit of brown paint because I wasn't paying attention. So this is how it looks. Hopefully it's gonna show up on camera, the color that it actually is. What do you think, babe? Turned out good, I think. Yep, we really like the color, and I don't know if you can tell or not, it is still super bright in here because there are so many windows. We definitely were not worried that painting this a dark color was going to make it super dark back here or anything because this room does have so many windows. And I think Bill was trying to go for a little bit of a, what, like a cozier look? Yeah, like a cozy man kind of look, whatever. Yeah, because this room is so big, so we kind of wanted to make it feel a little bit cozier. So we're pretty happy with the way it turned out. So that is how it looks. I think next weekend we're going to try to replace the doors over there. We're going to be putting slider doors instead of that's like sort of like a fringe type door. We're going to put a slider on it. And then after that, we're going to hopefully be putting the flooring down. Hello, and I'm feeling dry. It's hot with the sunny sky. We love